Hello, my name is Marsha Nuts, and today I want to show you the bracelets that I made since my last collection video. If you're new here, I try to do bracelet collection videos about every six months, and I'm due for another one. I'll leave my previous collection video linked in the card and in the description, along with the playlist for all the other collection videos as well. Before I start, I want to quickly talk about the competition that I'm currently running. Feel free to skip this if you're not interested, but I want to give a huge shout out to the winners of the first round of the competition. We've got this absolutely gorgeous forest scene as the first place winner. I love this piece. I think it's absolutely beautiful and I'm honestly really jealous. I kind of want to make it myself now. I think it's absolutely well deserved to be the first place and congratulations congratulations to the first place winner. We also have the second place with this beautiful bookmark. I love the pattern, I love how it's executed, I think it's gorgeous as well. Congratulations, very well deserved second place as well. And finally we've got a third place with this beautiful scene as well. I think the pattern is gorgeous, the execution as well is phenomenal, and I'm so so happy with the winners of the first round. If all three winners could email me please with their addresses, I'm going to be sending out the prizes really really soon. I've only received one email so far, so if you've sent it, don't worry, I've got it. But for those of you who haven't sent it, please send me your addresses on my email. If you're watching this video as it's coming out, the vote for the second round of the competition is right about to end. It ends on the 2nd of July. So make sure to get your vote in. The link to my Discord server where the vote is happening and the competition is also happening is in the description of this video. And then the day after the vote, so on the 3rd of July, I'm going to launch the third and final round of the competition. So even if you haven't participated in the first or second rounds, you can still participate in round three if you want to. The competition is being run on my Discord server, the link to which is in the description. All that being said, let's get into the collection. All right, so let's have a look at what I've made since my last collection video. I will be completely honest with you, I don't remember the chronological order of anything, so we're just gonna go in a random order. Let's start off with this bracelet. I quite like the color combination that I chose here. It's a bit of a muted color combination, not one that I usually go for. And I think at the time that I was making this bracelet, I was making a lot of chevrons, so I went for another sort of chevron type bracelet. I think it's quite cute. It's a little bit out of my comfort zone with the colors, but I do quite like how it turned out. Next up, we've got the keyhole bracelet. This was a pretty big trend about six months or so ago. Probably longer, I was a little late to the trend. But I kept seeing people do it and I kept wanting to try it, but I kept putting it off and then I finally did try it. I did film a tutorial for this bracelet and if you wanna watch that, the link will be in the card and in the description as always. And I'm quite happy with how this turned out. I like the color combination, I like the concept, the fact that it's got these little keyholes in the middle. I think it looks quite nice from the back as well, although I do prefer the front. I also quite like how it starts at the beginning with the two triangle ends. Anyway, I do recommend this bracelet even though the trend is Kind of dead at this point, everyone already made them. I still think it's really cute. Next up, we've got this bracelet. I really like the design of this. I am a sucker for patterns that've got outlines. I really enjoy patterns that have outlines. I like to put special strings in these kinds of patterns, either multicolored strings or like sparkly strings. And if you look closely, the black here is a sparkly string. I don't know how well you can see that, but it is. And it's a little bit fluffy because it's a fluffy yarn. There you can see the sort of fuzz that comes off of it, but I do really like how this bracelet turned out. I think it's really cute. I actually started this bracelet and the second bracelet that I'm gonna show now as well, this one. They're very similar patterns. I think the same person made them. They're from like a similar collection of patterns. So I gave them a similar color combination when I use the same fluffy black string here, which is sparkly. I posted a video featuring both of these bracelets. I started them, I think it was my seventh vlog. I'll leave that in the description if you wanna watch it. But I started these bracelets on a vlog, which kind of doubled as my room tour. And I really like these. I kind of wanna make another one of these. There's a bunch of different patterns by this creator with like similar designs. And I did say that I really liked outlines. And I do have a bunch of new string now. So I might actually try these patterns again. But I think they're really nice and cute. I like them a lot. Next up, we've got this bracelet and I really like it. I love the color combination and I love the pattern. And this bracelet was actually an Instagram chooses my bracelet video in which you guys answered a bunch of polls on my Instagram story and came up with this bracelet with the pattern and the colors and everything. So you guys chose that I make this bracelet and I absolutely love how it turned out. If you want to participate in future videos like that, then definitely follow me on Instagram. I do sometimes do like community interaction videos and the video that I'm talking about will also be linked in the card and in the description. But yeah, I love how this one turned out. I think it looks kind of cool on the back as well. Although typically, yeah, I do generally prefer the front, but I really, really like this bracelet. And I think my favorite is like this dark blue color. 
I don't know, I think it looks really nice. <laughs> Next up, we've got this bracelet. I feel like for every bracelet that I'm showing today, I've got a video attached to it. But this bracelet was also featured in a tutorial. I made this specifically for a tutorial. I've made this pattern before and I really enjoyed it and I wanted to film a tutorial on it because it's actually not as difficult as you would think. Like looking at it as a beginner, you might think that this is very challenging and it is a bit of a more complicated design than normal, but it's actually a lot simpler than you may think. There's not too many repeating rows, but yeah. I did film a tutorial because I thought it would be a good bracelet to film a tutorial on and I really do genuinely enjoy the pattern and I like how it turned out. Ah, this bracelet is absolutely gorgeous. I love, love, love how it turned out. It's obviously a little short purely because I started running out of string towards the end of it. I love how it turned out but I must say it was a bit of a pain to make because of the sparkly string. If you see here, the sparkly string is actually super, super thin. I'll leave the names of both the sparkly and the multicolored strings on the screen because I don't remember what they are but it's really 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 thin so I had to double it to create like a single strand so you had to use two strands to create one strand essentially and that became a mess as I was knotting it because it's very difficult to keep track especially in the knots we have to knot two silver strings together because I doubled it and it ended up being four strings and that's just a horrible mess to keep track of um so it ended up being a little bit messy but I do love how it turned out and I think it's absolutely worth it I just love both the rainbow and the sparkly string here and I think it looks really really cool next Next up is this bracelet and this bracelet I also filmed a tutorial for. This is the Slavic Diamond bracelet and I quite like the design. I think I honestly should have chosen slightly different colors but I was trying to go with like colors that would look good for a tutorial so that you can easily separate them but I still I still think I could have chosen other ones to be honest. Maybe I liked them at the time but I did make this a while ago and now looking back I think that maybe I should have chosen slightly different colors but I do quite like the design. It's a very simple design but it is a really fun bracelet to make. I really like the pattern. It's really simple and I think it looks really cute. Right, so next up we've got this bracelet which I am conflicted by still. Originally I created this color combination I thought it looked really nice as the colors so like the sort of deep red with the teal and the light blue I think it looked really good when I had the strings together but when I started to actually make the bracelet I don't know how I feel about the color combination anymore. I don't love it as much as I thought I would. Also I am kind of annoyed at how I started and finished it because it's a bit of a longer design like to, to complete the entire design. It's like longer than normal. <laughs> uh, I ended up having to sort of do three of these uh, and that ended up being like a normal length where ideally I would start and finish the bracelet in the same way. So if I started here with two sort of triangle ends uh, with this, I don't know, pretzel shape thing, I would have liked to have done another one here and finish in that same way with like two triangle ends here. But because it was already long enough, I had to finish it with a single triangle end on the diamond portion of the design, which I don't love, but even if if, even if I had to do that, at least I should have done the double blue here at the top because there's a double blue line at the top before each of those shapes. And then at the end as well, I also did a double blue line, but there's a single blue line here. And I find that annoying and I should have, I should have done that differently. But I still kind of like the bracelet. I like the design. I'm just not totally in love with it. Next up, we've got this bracelet, which is a lovely winter scene. If you've been subscribed for a while, you'll remember that I think a year ago, just over a year ago for the Christmas period, I did a video where I tried creating this pattern and it did not turn out particularly well. So I sort of promised myself and, and you that I would recreate this bracelet next year and that is what I did. And I must say, I think my knotting has improved, specifically my alpha knotting has improved quite a bit since I did that first video and I think this one turned out a lot better. I would show you the comparison, but I can't find the first one for whatever reason. So you're gonna have to watch the video for the first one. I'll leave both the first and the second videos for this pattern in the description if you wanna watch them. But yeah, the first one definitely was much worse. I like how this turned out, but it's a bit short. I just got really, really tired by the end of it. And originally you can barely see that first tree because originally I chose a sort of dark blue that I thought stood out really well when it was just strings. But when I actually started knotting it, you can barely tell that there is anything there. And so I ended up switching to black. Had a bit of a crisis there. I was like, oh, do I just start remaking the entire bracelet now? Because I can't see that one. But I was like, okay, I'm not gonna start remaking it. I'm just gonna switch it to black and do it as black going forward. And I think it turned out quite well like going from here but yeah that was a little bit of a fail with the color switch there but generally yeah my knotting has improved quite a lot I do quite like this bracelet next up we've got this bracelet which I love I love this bracelet it's got sparkly blue sparkly orange 
which you know, if you can see, we've got multicolored blue, multicolored orange and purple and stuff. I love using patterns with outlines to use multicolored and sparkly strings in, and I think it looks amazing. And I don't know, I just, I love it. You know, there, there are some bracelets, like going through this video, you would see like some bracelets I say like, eh, I don't really love it, but there are some bracelets like this one that I absolutely love. Even though I made this a while ago, I'm still absolutely in love with the pattern and the colors, and I think it turned out really well. And I highly recommend this pattern. I think it's really cool to make. Next up, we've got this wall hanging, which is another one of my creations that I can absolutely, without a doubt, say that I love. I love this one. I love how it turned out. It's very straight, which I'm very proud of myself for. I did not think that I would be able to achieve that. And I just love the design. I love the colors. It was a pain to make right around here because of all of those color switches. There were so many strings because I used separate strings for the left side and for the right side where we've got the sort of flowers going up and down the sides. I use separate strings for that to sort of minimize the amount of going back, backwards and forwards, but you can still see like how many color switches there are on the back. And right around here, I originally used one string for the background where I was just dragging it across, same for the red. And then I was like, why, why did I do that? So I had to cut it all up to sort of loosen it up a bit because it started pulling, pinching inwards. Uh, and then going from here, I decided to use two separate strings for the background. So I did a video um, as a knot with me where I show you guys how I made this bracelet, which personally, I never rewatch my videos. I sometimes rewatch that one because I find it very satisfying and I really like this pattern and I really like to see how I made it. I don't know, I just find it really satisfying. Anyway, I just really, really love this pattern and I think it's really cool. And if you're ever interested in making a wall hanging and you want to try a bigger one, definitely, definitely do this one. Next up, we've got this one. I went into a bit of a wall hanging phase. I made several wall hangings one after the other and this was one of the wall hangings that I did. And I, I just really like this pattern. I originally actually wanted to make it as a bracelet but then I realized that it's absolutely massive and won't really make a good bracelet. So I decided to try it as a wall hanging. The edges here aren't as great as the one there. I mean, I don't know if you can tell very well. It kind of pinches in a little bit. It's it's not a huge deal, but you know, it's a really cute pattern. I used this pattern to demonstrate how to make wall hanging. So I did a whole tutorial about how to make wall hanging specifically. So if you're curious about that, that will be linked in the card and in the description. Along with the rest of the videos, this is what it looks like from the back. I think I did some cutting up here as well. Or did I? Or did I just insert a bunch of strings? I don't remember, but <laughs> it looks really cute and I like it a lot. All right, might as well show you the next wall hanging that I did. It's not even gonna fit into the frame. It's super long. I think it's the biggest work, like the biggest piece that I've ever done in my life, probably. This is Luffy from One Piece and I love how it turned out. It is surprisingly straight. I did not think that it would turn out this straight. I've never made people before, so this is my first like person, human, that I've ever knotted and I love, love how he turned out and it's put me into a mood of making more. So actually this time I went to Russia recently and I bought a bunch of new string. I actually did a string haul if you want to watch that, I'll leave that in the description as well. Uh, but I bought a bunch of string specifically like skin tones to create more people and I'm really excited to try. But yeah, I think this turned out amazingly. I love how he turned out. I'm just so excited about it. I don't know. I really, really want to do more. I used this piece to demonstrate how to bake better alphas. I did a whole entire video describing like different tips and tricks on how to make better alphas, how to keep your knots consistent, how to keep your edges straighter and so on. So I'll leave that link in the description for you as well. I think I gave a lot of tips there and this is what the background looks like if you're curious. It's a whole mess, but yeah, I, I absolutely love this piece. Next up, we're heading into more recent territory now. We've got this one. Focus, please. <laughs> there we go. We've got this one. I used a pastel rainbow string here and I've been wanting to do that design for ages. So I, I don't know why I waited so long, to be honest, because I had the perfect string for it, also waiting around for ages. There's like a pattern I wanted to do for a long time, string that I wanted to use for a long time. It was like the perfect combination, but I think it turned out amazingly. It turned out a little long because the design is really long, so I had to like fit three in, but I think it looks fantastic. I'll leave the string name on screen as well because I don't remember it, but it looks gorgeous. I love how it turned out. And I did film a knot with me for this bracelet, so you can watch the entire creation of this bracelet from beginning to end in that video, which will as always be linked in the description. But yeah, I, I love it. I can't wait to use this string in more patterns. I'm still considering and debating what I want to do because I recently bought a bunch of more multicolored strings. So we'll, we'll see, we'll see how that goes. Next up, we've got my first key ring, which looks like this. It's a beautiful sort of moon design. So if you look closely, you'll notice that the edges at the top and at the bottom here are rounded. This is a special shaped keychain technique. I filmed a tutorial on how to do that, which you can find in the description. 
along with the rest of the videos. But yeah, the back of this keychain looks a little bit messy. Some people like put stuff over it. Some people use other techniques to create the same thing on the front and the back. I didn't really bother. I don't mind it. But yeah, this is what it looks like. Maybe I'll film a tutorial at some point later as to how to do like double-sided ones, but one tutorial at a time. <laughs> yes, I do like how this one turned out. Next up, we've got the flower chain bracelet. There are so many, so many. I did an entire collection at once because I, I just love the pattern. It's so simple and easy to make. Like it's super, super quick. It's just a bunch of forward backward knots and then like the flowers in the middle. It's super easy, super fun, super simple. There was a huge trend going on there where like everyone was making them and I had to jump on because it looked amazing. And I'm glad I did. I like the color combination that I came up with here. I think it looks really cute all together and I just really like it. I did film a tutorial for this, which is also going to be linked in the description if you want to try it. It's the Daisy Chain Bracelet. I highly recommend it. It's really fun to make, honestly. I really like it. And these bracelets are actually going to go off to the second and third place winners of my competition. The competition still has round three to go through, which is going to be the final round. But yeah, if you want to participate, round three is going to happen in about a week, I think. It's on my Discord server, which is linked in the description as always. But yeah, these are going to be sent out to the second and third place winners. And I'm excited because I think they're really cute and I really want to give these away. We're nearing the end here. We've got the butterfly bracelet, which is another shaped bracelet. This was an original design and the creator allowed me to make a tutorial for it. And I think it's really cute. I think it looks cute. This is why I'm like flipping it over because I think it looks really cute from the front and the back. I can't decide which side to show you. But yeah, this is a little bit difficult. It's not like for beginners, I would say. It's a little bit more advanced, but I do think that the result is super cute and I recommend you try it. This one also has a tutorial made by me, which will also be linked in the description. And finally, we have come to this collection. I have four separate bracelets that I did with this pattern. And this one was made with the metallic string that I talked about previously that I had to double up to create like one strand of, which was a pain to do. This was very, very painful to create, but I think it looks really cute and I really enjoyed it. This one is going off to the side because I'm gonna talk about these three for now. But yeah, these three I also made basically at the same time I was doing like a collection. I wanted to do all three of them at once. And these three are going away to the winners, the first place winners of each of the rounds of my competition. There are three rounds of the competition. One of the winners has already been picked out. The second winner is being picked out right now in a vote. And the third winner is gonna happen after the third round of the competition. So these three bracelets are going away to people. And I love this pattern. That's why I chose it to, to do the competition bracelet. And I chose different multi colored strings. I honestly can't decide which one is my favorite. I think they're all really cool. I really like the multicolored strings and I've been wanting to use them for a while so I decided to launch a competition while I'm at it. But yeah, I think these are really cute. And that's all the bracelets I've got to show you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope maybe you found a pattern that you want to make. I really like watching other people's collection videos because I like to take patterns that they've made and make them myself. So hopefully I was able to provide that for you as well today. Before I go, I want to give a special shout out to my patrons and especially my top supporters whose names are going to appear on screen. Thank you guys so, so much for your support. I truly appreciate it. I'm having to do some changes to my Patreon. If you are an existing patron on the $17 or $30 tier, you should have received an email from me stating that I'm doing some changes to those tiers. I previously sent my patrons gift packages, but unfortunately now that I've started a full-time job, I don't have the time to do that every month. So I'm changing that benefit to be a Google Meet session every month in which we can chat and I can give you individual help on your bracelets if you need it. This change is only gonna take effect in August, so you have some time to think about whether or not you wanna stay a patron with this change, whether or not you do, I appreciate you being here at all, so thank you for that. The date of the first Google Meet will be announced on Patreon itself and also on the Patreon Discord server, which you can access by becoming a patron. Don't worry if you've already paid for a package or if you paid for an annual subscription for your packages, you will receive all of them. This change is only taking into effect from August. Well, that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.